Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, I made a pivotal mistake by transferring the It's Rap license plates onto the Silverado and removing my black and gold vanity plates off the truck because now white license plates have literally nothing to flow with. The entire truck was black and green. Everything looked nice and clean and consistent. Now the entire truck just looks kind of stock. It looks terrible. I don't know what I was thinking doing that because the It's Wrap plates are white and the vanity plates were black, which looked so much better. So we are fixing that problem by wrapping the license plates with vinyl wrap. That's right, we are vinyl wrapping the license plates. We're gonna do a satin black base with a glossy white print on top, which looked look really, really nice and solve this issue we're having right now with the license plates just looking really, really bad to be honest. Also, we're gonna be doing wheel spacers on all four corners of this truck. We have the G2 Forge aluminum wheel spacers, inch and a quarter to give the truck a little more poke. I think it'll look really, really nice giving the truck more stance, having it stick out of the fenders a little bit because as of right now, the wheels sit super, super flush with the bed sides and the front fenders. So poking it out an inch and a quarter, I think will be perfect. Hopefully we don't have any issues with, you know, stuff getting kicked up all over the side of the truck because well, that's definitely a thing when you have more poke, but we do have the vinyl wrap on the paint, so we should be good as far as that goes. Let's go ahead and open up the garage door, which I've closed right now because it was raining this morning. Pull the truck outside, do a nice little walk around of the truck before the wheel spacers and the license plate wrap, and then we'll just get right to it. Let's do it. Just to give you guys a full understanding of what I'm talking about with the white license plates, I just don't think it looks good. It looked so much more like uniform with the black and gold plates. I don't know what I was thinking doing that, but we are solving that problem today with some vinyl wrap. Yeah, the front end, it just, it don't look good at all. It looks, it looks, see, that looks so much better. See, that's good. That is real, that's good. I love that. That, ah, nope, nope. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's a lot better right there. No white plate. That's, that's just, it's gotta go. So I think the satin black with the white lettering look really nice. We'll cut out the, uh, the month there and the year the tags expire as well as the US Army tag right there as well. As for the wheel spacers, I think the truck is gonna look so much more aggressive having the wheels poked out another inch and a quarter because as of right now, I'm not gonna say they don't poke out at all, but it's very, very minimal. These are the positive 10, 10 wides on 22s, 1250 wide tires. They do bubble out a little bit, which is why we have a little bit of poke but it's really not much at all. So that inch and a quarter is gonna look really, really sick. Also, we have some tailgate letters arriving today at some point, so hopefully we can get those on in today's video. But let's get back to the garage and get the wheel spacers installed and wrap up the license plate. And just like that, we have the G2 Forge aluminum wheel spacers right there with a lifetime warranty. And we have the Hallmaster two and a half ton scissor jack. This thing works really, really nice. It's actually made for RV, like leveling RVs, but it works really good at jacked up cars and trucks too. And the three ton jack stands right there. The entire truck has a curb weight of I believe 4,900 and some chain. Dude, this thing is gonna look right. Oh, it's gonna look so right. That right there is a heavy wheel and tire combo, but we have the wheel off. Now it's time to lay down some thread tight, throw the spacer on, torque it down to spec, and that's pretty much it. Put the wheel back on, and we'll see what wheel number one looks like with a little bit of, a little bit of poke to it. I just realized we have ourselves a little bit of an issue. The original threads right here need to be trimmed back so they don't go past the spacer right here and the wheels go on to the new threads right here attached to the spacer. So the issue with that, and that's no problem having to trim them, I have no issue with that, but the only issue I'm having doing that is maybe the next owner isn't gonna want a two inch poke outside of the fender or inch and a half or wherever it ends up being. Once I do cut off that thread right there, that is a full commitment. There's no going back from the spacers. This space right here being that it's only an inch and a quarter, maybe if I were to go up to like two and a quarter or something like that, it would totally cover that thread, but that is a lot of poke right there. I've actually never ran wheel spacers in my entire life, so 
This has been kind of a learning curve for me too, but I did notice this poking out way past the spacer and just realized that this is not gonna work out unless I trim the original threads, which is something I don't really wanna do, unfortunately. So, that being said, these are coming off, going back on, and we're not gonna run wheel spacers. And just like that, back to basics. I just feel like it's not in my best interest to run those wheel spacers. For the simple sake of resell, the next prospected buyer may not be that into the looks for one, and trust me, I understand that this truck right here is not for the masses in the first place, but not only does that affect the looks, but also drivability, because a lot of places out here in SoCal, you know, we have a lot of tight parking and tight drive-throughs and things of that nature. So it's probably in my best interest to leave that up to the next owner of this truck. But all good, we'll keep pushing forward and move on to wrapping up the license plate. Also, the tailgate letters just arrived. That right there is clean, dude. Wow, this came out so sick. And just like that, dude, check that out right there. That came out perfect right there. Looks so much better than the white license plate eyesore. Oh my gosh, that did not look right whatsoever. But that came out perfect, ties everything in together now. California does not do black on white. They do black on gold, Black and white is super unique for a California plate, so I love that about it right there, but that looks super clean. Satin black on the matte white looks just right, dude. That came out absolutely perfect. Well, we're not done there. We have some tailgate letters here straight from Amazon to install into the Chevrolet letters there on the tailgate, which should look pretty cool. It should tie everything in together. So let's bust this open and check it out. I'm more than satisfied with what I got done on the truck today. Unfortunately though, I just could not commit to doing the inch and the quarter wheel spacers because of the lack of being able to uncommit to that. And I do plan to sell this truck sometime in the very near future because I want to cop the 2022 Silverado, hopefully the ZRX. But like I mentioned before, I don't know what availability will be like, what the markups are and all that kind of stuff. We'll find out very, very soon. But nonetheless, I am selling this truck sometime in the very near future. And I don't want to risk that being a holdup for the prospective new buyer who doesn't want to deal with wheels poked out because it kicks a lot of stuff up. And roads out here and stuff in general are very narrow sometimes. So there could be an issue as far as like, you know, the, the concerns of the potential new owner of this truck. So I'd rather not that not be a risk in the buying process or selling process of this truck right here. So I'd rather not do it because there is no going back once I space these wheels out. So all that being said, Hopefully I can get my hands on the 2022 sometime in the very near future, but that time will come. But as always, hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out.